Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'm looking at GeForce Now, especially for those Stadians who don't have Stadia left to play. And many of us have been offered a free month of uh, premium GeForce Now, so I want to show you that a little bit. So GeForce Now is a service that connects with your Steam library, your Epic Games library, uh, your Ubisoft library, and EA Play if you have that. I can show you quickly here. This is how you uh, link your accounts up here. You put your connections in and um, the Ubisoft and Steam library automatically sync with uh, GeForce Now. And the Epic Games library, you have to choose each game you want from Epic Games in GeForce Now and add them manually to the library. So like, for example, I would go back here, I would go to Games, I would pick, say, Trek, Trackmania, there's Trackmania Turbo. And then I could just say here, add to library. And then if I have that in my library, I can play it. And sometimes they'll say, this is an Epic Games game or a Steam game. And then you can choose which store you bought it in as well. One other thing you might find interesting is if you got the code from GeForce Now because you used to have Stadia, you go down here and this is where you will activate the code. So let's hit it right there and you would put in the code right here. So let's go back to the Odin. Now let's load GeForce Now on the Odin. There we go. And there it loads up my library. These are my games from my Ubisoft Connect library, my Epic Games, and my Steam library. I don't have very many because I'm not much of a PC gamer. But um, thanks to Stadia, well, thanks to Ubisoft, uh, the games that I had on Stadia from Ubisoft are available to me on GeForce Now via Ubisoft. So here you can see Crew 2, Monopoly Madness, Monopoly Plus, and Trials Rising. I all bought on Stadia, and here they're all available to me to play. Free of charge, I must say. I'm, I'm really impressed how Ubisoft has been handling this. So let's load Trials Rising. Hit play. And because I have a free account right now, you can see there's 332 gamers ahead of me, so I have to wait for 332 players to finish using the computer so I can get a game on the cloud. I've noticed this typically can last anywhere between like 15 minutes, say in the morning, to two hours or a little over two hours in prime time. So it really depends on when you want to play. But obviously if you want to go premium, then I'll show you what that's like too. As I've got a coupon from GeForce Now for a month, because I was previously on Stadia. So let's check that out. So you can see now I've redeemed my code. And if we scroll down, we can see I have it until February 26th when it will return to be a uh, free account. So if we now go into settings here, we can see that uh, my account is now a priority account. So that's nice. Now let's load Charles Rising again. Let's go back up to the library to my library and we'll pick Trials Rising. Play. Let's see how fast it loads up this time. So it's not super fast to load, but it's finding me a computer, putting the software on it. There's no uh, wait time from at least other gamers here. And this is the first time I played Trials Rising on GeForce Now, so I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like as well. You can see up here as well, you have uh, different options. Bring up a virtual keyboard, your virtual gamepad, or copy and paste. You play it, and more options here. Oops. I think I don't want that enabled, actually. Let's... I played the Crew 2 on this yesterday, and it ran really smoothly. I was very impressed. I've had issues with audio sync before. The audio is way behind the video. I don't know what's going on there. I had that when I was playing Slay the Spire on it earlier from my Steam library. 
Cherry brightness is fine. Let's just go. <laughs> nice. That's a tutorial. That's what, that's what I need. <laughs> okay. And because this has analog triggers, it's nice to use too. And you see, I just play everything right here. Lean. Yes, I can lean. All right. I can show you with an 8-bit 2 controller. The switch is set to D position for Android. Hold down start. And it syncs up and now I can control it with this controller which is more comfortable. So now I want to show docking the Yodin. And if you look up to the TV, we can see there's the game right there. All right, so I'm going to show you quickly here, playing on the TV. And I still got my Pro 2 controller hooked up. So you can see here, let's go down here. And here I'm playing GeForce Now on my TV with uh, my Odin docked. There we go. So it gives you an idea of what you can do with GeForce Now on the Odin. This is gorgeous. This reminds me of the quality I had when I played on Stadia. I don't notice any lag at all. Before I had audio lag, I don't sense any audio lag at all right now. It was perfect. Honestly, I don't feel much difference between this and playing on my Xbox. The same game. So this could be cool, like say you want to go on vacation somewhere that you know has a has good internet. You could just take your Odin and your dock along with you and this controller and you have a console-like experience. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you'll enjoy GeForce now if you choose to join it. And I'll see you next time at RG Geek. Whoa! Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a good one.